Friday. I'm still getting a hold of this whole GoPro thing. I gotta give a shout out to my boyfriend for being the guy to get me my first GoPro. And I gotta give a shout out to Dang Dallas for shooting me, photographing me, videotaping me with the new GoPro so I can see through experience how great the sound and just how great they really were after being so close-minded and ignorant to them because of like, I mean, I'm not saying it's the best, though, you know, it's just, it is what I'm currently using and I'm not sponsored by them or anything as great as it would be to make money off of them, you know, <laughs> or just like anybody that could find benefit from my existence. You know, if I can promo you, if I can be in service of any way, please, by all means, yes, please step through the door of opportunity. Though at the same time, I'm not looking to necessarily be uh, utilized as a tool or a manipulative mechanism. I'm interested in doing, like, genuine, authentic reviews, although I'm having a little bit of issues with, I guess you could say, self-confidence and public um, expression. You know, like going to a restaurant that I go to all the time and know the owners and then doing an honest, genuine review, right, there, and like filming openly in public and like being myself to the camera, even though no matter what's going on around me, you know, not manipulating the expression of me, limiting my dialogue. Does that make sense? Like, have you ever hung out with someone and then suddenly a form of... Like, normally you don't talk that way, but when you talk to that person, like, that thing came up, but only because, like, you were talking to that person because you ever have even thought of that when you connected to their vibe or whatever, or put them in terms that they could possibly understand. Kind of like that. And understand that we are always talking to the universe, and we're putting out these frequencies and these waves. I like to put out some energy right now for any of you that might title yourself homework slaves, or just, yeah, you're addicted to this information, you're a truth seeker like me, or maybe you've already done the homework and maybe you can pay it forward to me in some kind of way. I really, really, really am hungry to know more about Nikola Tesla. I really sincerely am. And I've been so passionate, so passionate. I've been learning some things such as he's a cancer, um, been revealed that he's nearly my meditation guide and there's things going on with lights and frequencies and numerology and I would simply love to know as much information as possible and maybe get my hands on the oldest Nikola Tesla book that I could possibly find so if you'd like and if you can please send me an email of any information that you have my email is we want Trina T-R-I-N-A at AOL.com that is a public place where you can send me what you wish and that's also a great place for gift cards or you know, anything else that you feel a need that needs to be sent my way, um, please understand your intentions and don't be manipulative and vindictive unless you choose to receive that type of energy frequency right back at you, you know. That's what um, the law of physics states clearly in the handbook of the universe. So here right now, I'm not attempting to share any fear or manipulation or arm twisting is what I would also like to energetically signature call it um this is my truth and my experience and i'm not necessarily holding an energetic gun to anyone's head though i feel a sense of urgency or need for people to know that they have a say in their experience and that they can manipulate energetic forces and i would call that magic you know like let's say um you met this like awesome 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 dude and he's super intuitive or like um yeah you just like their vibe and um they offer services so you pay for their time and then through you spending more time with them you learn more how to be like them or how to think like them or how they got where they are things like that uh i'm by one of my favorite places i'm gonna have to come out here and uh take care of business for sure I'm being intuitively guided to um, extend my business and what I do more so into the house of botany and include plant medicine. And um, <laughs> all I can do is share information and opportunity. And I love to help people with their transitions. I love, love, love working with plants such as mugwort, cumin, <laughs> I want to say cumin, maybe it's cumin. <laughs> uh, Lavender. I'm working with the 
essential oils, the most purest levels of getting to these plants and these essences and their vibrational frequencies. And yes, aroma is the root of many things. And if you don't like a smell sometimes, that's what you need most. And <laughs> it's because it's your polarity. So a lot of different frequencies going on. Each person is different. Each experience has its own vibrational level. You can't expect everyone to be on your level because it's your truth and your experience. So please do be patient with yourself and do not deny yourself, yourself and your truth. I'm so glad for those of you who have found great pleasure in my creations. I am particularly um, meditating on the financial freedom. <laughs> I guess I can call those virtual experiences or um, movies that I've made to play with consciousness and um, psychology and um, make you really challenge how you really feel and allow people to take their hatred out on me and use my head as um, their pinpoint if they wish, you know? And at the same time, I've been kind of mindless in doing that, you know? And a lot of times I trigger people and I don't really recognize how that's even possible or how I did that. You know what I mean? Um, and sometimes I need to be mindful in that, you know, um, because sometimes if we mindlessly do that, yes, we can get ourselves killed. And as I've stated several times, I would never exterminate myself, nor do I have the will to, um, be separated from all of you. And I deeply desire to be a part of the consciousness and be helping with the transition as all the new souls are born and come in. And I'm supposed to also share with you how there is a mass intention to stop the generation of these new coming children and souls to the planet. And it is vital for you to protect your essence and not be in a state or level of fear and um, violence or anything selfish. Seva being one of the most important things. And um, there feeding off of that divine will in your cells and yourself because each person is a divine godhead one could say or an expression of god or a version of god and it's really difficult for some people to accept that and see that greatness even in the saddest maddest hurt most violent people you know but we're not going to exterminate those. It's not what is best for the collective. We must transcend all this energy. I love you so much. Please be patient.